We have a 20-year plan in the Red River Basin to reintroduce lake sturgeon. Um, and so we stock lake sturgeon in a number of locations between here and uh, Bidette. We're reintroducing a fish that basically man eliminated, again, through the construction of the dams in the 40s, 50s, um, eliminated a lot of their natural spawning ha habitat, and then over harvest. Uh, a lot of times there were no regulations on sturgeon, so there was just a, a taking and a taking and a taking of, of sturgeon. And uh, so that really had its negative impact. So we're trying to reintroduce a species that is native to the Red River Basin. The management plan calls for 4,000 fingerlings to be placed in otter tail annually. The population's doing real well. We have been sampling lake sturgeon in our standard fall gill net assessment out here. Our catch rates have ranged anywhere from one and a half up to four and a half fish per gill net, which is a, a pretty good uh, gill net catch for a lake of this size. Um, and we're seeing a lot of different sizes of fish. In fact, stocking efforts have gone so well, you can now fish for sturgeon in Minnesota's inland waters. We're into the second year of a catch and release season for sturgeon. Uh, prior to that, you couldn't legally go out and target them, but now you can. We asked Jim where he would recommend an angler started looking if they were to try to catch the prehistoric species. Sturgeon are naturally a river species, so any place that there's currents, inlets, outlets, uh, neck down areas in any of the lakes in the otter tail chain um, would be good candidates uh, in the future. Right now, our largest sturgeon that we've sampled in our gill nets is just shy of 50 inches out here on Otter Tail Lake. However, we have heard of reports of people catching sturgeon up to the mid 50 inch. So to see if we could catch sturgeon in Otter Tail County, my son Willie and I found a lake in the Otter Tail River system, and we're not gonna tell you which one, you gotta find your own inner otter, and we targeted sturgeon. Did it work? Uh -huh. It did. We got out here about 6 p.m., we didn't have a ton of time, and what time was it when we caught our first sturgeon? Um, 7.01, I think. 7.01, what did we get it on? A circle hook and a big clump of night crawlers. Apparently, if we can figure out a way to restore balance, even after we've put it out of whack, fish like the sturgeon can recover. And once again, their future is in our hands. We did it, buddy. 